Hello, welcome. This is New Vision TV. I am Ruth Naseje. Any mention of Tito Okelolutua in Uganda reminds the people of a military officer who took over power without reason and hence lost in trilight. Lutua was a strong military officer who led a section of soldiers that captured power in the morning of July 25th, 1985 hoping to neutralize the National Resistance Army rebels through negotiations, which mission fell in his face. On Saturday, his family is holding a memorial service for him at his ancestral home, and New Vision TV looks back at who the man Lutwa was. General Tito Okelo Lutwa was a man of no mean achievements. Born in Nam Okora Kidgum district around the First World War in 1914, Lito is known about his educational background. However, as fate would have it, he joined the King's African Rifles in May 16, 1940, and like former President Idi Amin Dada, he battled the Mau Mau in Kenya on the side of the British colonial masters in 1957. He then joined the Ugandan army, rising to the rank of lieutenant at independence in 1962 and had become a colonel in 1968. When Amin Tapel Dobote in 1971, he fled in exile in Tanzania. In 1978, Tito commanded the Kikosi Malum, comprising of fighters of Uganda exilees and Tanzania soldiers, which moved from Tanzania through Masaka and over in Kampala, rooting Amin out of power in April 1979. Tito became president of Uganda on 29th July 1985, but was overthrown on 26th January 1986. But in July 1985, together with Basilio Olara Okello, Tito rode on the disgruntlement of Acholis in the army to stage the coup d'etat that ousted President Milton Obote. He ruled as president for six months until he was overthrown by the National Resistance Army operating under the leadership of the current president, Yori Kagutam Seveni. On his overthrow, Lutwa fled into exile and returned to Uganda after President Yori Museveni offered him amnesty. He died on June 3, 1996, at the age of 82. You're still watching New Vision TV and in our Pearl of Africa series, we still look at the animals at the Uganda Wildlife Education Center. And today, it's the buffalo. The buffaloes come from a family called Bovida. Let's take a look. <laughs> it's feeding time for these animals here at the zoo. The buffaloes feast on watermelons, cassava, and also grass. The buffaloes are all herbivorous. Their favorite foods are grass and herbs. Both African and Asian buffaloes eat scrubs and cheese when they can't find grass or herbs to eat. The color of their skin is dark gray or black, and they have a close resemblance with the bulls. The buffaloes share the family of bovide with domestic cattle and oxen. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch all our news updates on your mobile phone, on your desktop, on your tablet, and anywhere on the go. I am Ruth Nasejaya.